Do moose kick? I'm sure if moose started kicking, it'd be like bad. I like would not want to get feet. kicked by moose. I'm not signing up for that. All right, hey folks, everyone's ticked about everything and everything's politics. So what we're coming at you with today is pure unadulterated fun and you're gonna see me fail a lot. I'm here with our good friend, Eric of Iraq Veteran 8888 8888 That's a lot of hates. Et cetera, with eights. And what are we doing today? Well, we're gonna try to stump you because I found out, you know, that you literally own like 10 guns and they're all the same gun. I own a... I own a lot more than 10 guns, but you're right, they're basically the well, same. Well, the guns. ones you do own, they're all the same, like the same pistol, the same rifle. So what we're going to try to do today is we're going to try to stump John and put him in front of a bunch of guns that I think he is going to have a heck of a hard time operating. So it's like weird, civil war, crazy. I can't tell you. It's a surprise. It's fantastic. So the point of this is to make me look utterly stupid in front of all my YouTube friends? No, 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 no. Because I got a rep of like, I want them to think that I'm really like great. You're going to do fine. You're going to do not. fine. So <laughs> we're, we're, we're putting you in front of a couple of things that you're familiar with, um, but some things you aren't familiar with, and then some things that are probably somewhere a bit of a blurred line of familiarity for you. I can't wait. This is great. So just so you guys know, I'm not really a gun guy. Uh, I, I like shooting, and I'm interested in fighting and what guns can accomplish. So Eric's absolutely right. In the vein of what I know, if it's like a M249 saw or a 240 or a 203 or something like that, even Ma Deuce, I can run that stuff that our military does. But it's like I, we're in your, you know, uh, shop here, and you've got so much. I have no idea what 80 percent of this stuff is. That's good. I think we're all about to find that out. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. <laughs> and you guys are going to enjoy watching me fail and Eric uh, heckle me. So let's do it. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> you care to speculate? Um, I think you were starting me off a little easier. And so uh, We're going to do one at a time and kind of roll the curtain back as we go, yeah. so to speak. All right, I'm and by here. curtain, I mean uh, my wife's uh, blankets that she Fantastic. doesn't know we have. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going to unveil as we go, and you're just going to react. I'm going to go for it. Ready? Let's do it. Oh, yes. Thank God. Am I clearing this jack up? I just keep going. Keep going. Yes. Nothing. <laughs> Look at <laughs> Come on, it's only seven rounds, right? <laughs> Go. Awesome. Good job. Yep. All right, here we go. And of course you wouldn't load it for me. Are you are you mean or are you lazy? Weird Come on now. Bullets. <laughs> Now, could you imagine being a soldier and being issued this gun and having to operate it like this? Look at him, struggling. I'm killing it. He's a little weenie it's hands. Awesome. <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh, it's going the wrong uh. way. It's going the wrong way. There you go. You're getting close. You're getting close. <laughs> there we go. First try. Not bad. Not bad. What? <laughs> Seriously? Here, let's go ahead and get the blanket out of the way Jerk. for you. What? <laughs> All right, I'm guessing this is going to go in there. Uh, you're close. You'll stop Yeah, me. pull the wedge out. And then it's going to go like that? Uh, pull the wedge out. Rotate it all the way. Push it forward. Okay. All right. It's forward. Wedge in. Yep, wedge in. And I'll and tell you what, I'm going to move these out of the way. Sure. All right. Now... Oh, I gotta start it with this. <laughs> All right, look. I tell you what. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you Not out. Not fair. That's if okay. I from pistols look, to like, I'll point it. Okay. I'm gonna trickle a little bit of powder there. All right, I'm gonna shoot the rain. Yeah, just with touch it. it off with that. Shoot, shoot the, uh, shoot the barrel, the blue barrel. Blue barrel, it is. Got. It. Holy smokes! <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, come on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Call out what it is, too. All right, AKV. Oh, I'm definitely going with this crazy gun. Now this one, you're gonna shoot the whole magazine. Put it on this number two position. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Try that out. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm not supposed to drop guns. I'm ready. Okay, ready? Yeah. You stud, I love you so much. Rednecks are amazing people. Safety's on. Excellent! Dang it. All right, step one. <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> I told you they get a little harder. Um, come on, man. Come on. They're trying to kill you. All right, uh, I got it. All right, look. Uh, Wait. Half cock on the hammer. Half cock. Pull it back to you feel one click. There you go. Open it up. I bet I'm gonna get In the breech. Look, hold it down. There you Very go. Good. There you go. Close her up. Yep. Hammer on full cock. Oh, and yeah. present and shoot. Holy smokes, that was awesome. <laughs> uh, All right. Can I do that one again? Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, go ahead. And I, I knew he was going to want to shoot this one more than once. All right. Oh, uh, well, you can do that. Here, look. I'll show you when you go to unload it. There you go. How to eject them. There you go. Full cock. Shoot. Man, that is amazing. <laughs> All right. All right. Last one. Woo. Damn it. <laughs> what is the You psycho. Yes, there's a holster for my broom handle. <laughs> Hard stop. Yep. It's better not all the way in. Thumb. Yep. Leave the strip. Oh. Well, leave it. It's fine. Well, you're supposed to leave the stripper clip in place, and then when you pull the clip out, let's see. What in the heck? We, we ended up having a piece of brass stuck in the Mauser, so can't do that one right now. But we can do the rifles. You ready? Let's do it. All right, go. Yep. <laughs> really? You're gonna... I'm trying to run in crocs. I'm running in crocs. Come on. I'm running in crocs. I got this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ready for long guns? Let's do it. Okay. Oh, it looks like a black rifle. It's fantastic. Yes. Strip up here. You look like you've done that a time or two, John. Some distance there. Job. Sticky there. All right, going along to number two. No way I'm not doing this without deploying the bayonet first. What? Yeah. How see. did you know how to do that? Here we go. Oops. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Yeah. Like a, now it goes to the board. It's been a long time. Safety is like M79. There you go. Good. Good job. Fun stuff. It's been a long time. <laughs> Isn't that cool? It's awesome. Watch your hand. There you go. All right, door number three. Ah. <laughs> That's okay. Set him over there. Right, here we go. Door number three. Dang it. I have no idea how to work <laughs> any of this. All right. Now, this is a U.S. service so I'm gonna rifle. Go, I'm going to go half cock. Okay. Because we 
reasons. All right, not too much unlike the other one. There you go. Full cock. Yep. Send it. You see me anticipate? All the way up. Super cool, I gotta do this one again. Yep. Because of reasons. Good job, there you go. All the way. I'm anticipating like crazy. Right when I shot, the muzzle went down. Oh, I went for this one three <laughs> like, times. Way to suck, John. All right. Doing good. Nice and easy and don't kill. That was good. You're in there. Very good job. Cool. That thing was awesome. All right, number four. All right, this one might Dang. stump him. Of course it'll stump me. This is crazy. All right, let me uh, down and pull. How about this thing? How about twist, turn? And now pull. I'm Holy impressed. Smokes. He figured it out. I Me put the too. gun on safe. I was going to see if he knew how to. Wrong way. Other way. There you go. What is this thing? All the way down till till you feel it. A hard Click. stop. And then I pull out. Yep. Pull pull the clip out. There you go. Slam it home. Good hard stop. And now oh, turn this. No, you're good. Nope. Ready to shoot. Two stage trigger, three and a half pound break. Oh, that's awesome. All right, pull the bolt all the way to the rear, hard stop, shut it, slam it. That's it. Good. There you go. Good shot. Push it, push it on, all the way home, oh. finish it off. I was done, okay. <laughs> there you go. Good job. So you, you know a little bit about what you're doing. I know, I have no idea. I'll figure it out as I go along. <laughs> All right, last Man, door. Those were tough. You got one more. Oh, no, that, was oh that was it. That was it. Good job. You didn't do bad at all. You're not quite the layman Man. everybody thinks you are. No, at least that, that was that bad. I, that was, I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> no you did idea. great. Especially uh, the swivel gun. <laughs> no chance. I just stared at it like... We could throw you into a miniature dirt war. You'd probably be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately die in this contest. Ah, you did okay, actually. That was crazy fun. Well, I, I, it was my fault for giving you a defective Mauser broom handle. No, no. That no, wasn't your fault. It was quite all right. <laughs> I was uh, making enough mistakes on my own that you were due for one, too. That's right. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, cool, man. Good job, man. Yeah, you thanks. You did good. You did Guys, good. hopefully this was... <laughs> fun for you watching me do very badly i wouldn't say bad but you got cool guns man uh can we walk through and take a look at what these things are what we were shooting sure we yeah can. let's do that all right walk us through uh some of the cool stuff Glock 17 we're good to go 1911 well, not I quite shoot now not quite this is not just any 17 the reason i chose this gun specifically this is the p80 so this is the gun that gas and glock submitted for military contract uh, in Austria. So what would become the 17, this is the newest uh, gun that Glock just came out with, the P80, a reissue of the original 17. No, no reel system, pebble grip, smooth side trigger, no serrations on the front of the uh, trigger guard, you know, real basic strip down Glock. Awesome. All right. Then we went to 1911. We did. Um, I, this is... I shoot one of these once a year. Uh, it was <laughs> just great. To, just I to say it. you can do it, hey, right? They're beautiful guns and I like them. I just... Yeah. Don't have much use for them, but I get the appeal. Well, that's the Brownells Retro 1911. Awesome. Uh, BRN 1911, and these are made by Ed Brown. Got Real it. Real high quality gun, match grade barrel, all this. that good stuff. All right, that's a Nagant revolver. Uh, this was produced around 1895 was when they were originally uh, produced. Got it's it. It's a gas seal revolver, so that's one of the most distinguishing characteristics um, of the gun. Why isn't this pushing back? Yeah, so it's weird okay, let me go to unload it. You've got to... Pop that out. That's your ejector rod. You right. got to swing that out, ah. and now you can eject the cartridges. Very good. Man, um, gotta get fires my a special gas seal cartridge. You can see there's a taper. Uh, when the cylinder is in battery, it actually forms a seal. So this is one of the only revolvers on the planet that you can actually suppress. Hmm. And the KGB would cut these down, suppress them, and make little clandestine assassins pistols out of them. <laughs> All right, 
<laughs> Someone else will have to do yeah, that. Yeah, they're, they're a real bear to get loose. And this really... was a mean trick. Come on, bro. Really? <laughs> gun, gun number four? Swivel gun. All right. So this is actually mounted to a piece of the original deck of the US, uh, USS Constitution. My man, right? So swivel guns were used on boats, okay? And the whole idea being, I'm just gonna pull the breech out, is that you've got a full degree of movement up and down. So a swivel gun was traditionally gonna be like a smaller cannon that could be aimed easily and shot by a single operator to fend off like uh, pirate boats or, you got know, it. people trying to raid is vessels Is it just kind of, you're at a urinal and you just hope to be close enough? <laughs> This one shoots a three ounce uh, round ball, and we have these little canisters that I've got preloaded with the powder, wadding, projectile, and then this is just a overfill uh, to help with fouling. Awesome, cool, you that just one's put it really in there fun. And that's it. That thing was a moose, this one punked me out. Uh, let's see some more stuff. <laughs> Good. So this was gun Ready? number five on our journey. Correct, okay. Uh, this is a Palmetto State Armory AKV. Uh, this is their take on a nine millimeter AK based uh, system. And this is one of their, you know, crazy mags. Our friends at ATF Hydrographics did the uh, hydro dipping awesome. on the mag. And you notice that you had uh, quite a few rounds at, at quick disposal there with the Fostec uh, Echo right. Trigger. That was ec excellent. Yeah, so we put you on echo mode, uh, blowback, nine millimeter. Really cool little setup. I'd never shot this before, and I was still, I'm like, I think he's got me on full auto, and then I didn't quite test it, and then I embraced it. I'm like, yeah, baby! <laughs> that <laughs> moment right. where you were like, okay, this is happening. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so number two in line, we got the Vepper 12. Um, these are really great shotguns, okay? Sim auto, 12 gauge, magazine fed. Uh, you don't have to rock the mags in, as you found out. You just stick the mag straight in. Uh, folding yeah, and, stock. and I had a bit of a lip here, so in some of them I really struggled to get the mags in, and I had to kind of get over the lip, and I had to look at the mag because I wouldn't insert, and it had to go kind of like reverse AK style mm -hmm. for on a couple different guns, and so I'm trying to get this thing in, and I had to reverse AK. I figured that would throw you for a loop a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it did, man, a lot of stuff. Because it's a collision call pattern, but it's in a shotgun round, which is kind of cool, you yeah. know? So definitely a lot of firepower there, and then we've got the Portuguese contract uh, Snyder. Now this thing was a moose. Out of everything I shot, this is the one that really knocked me back, and it's the one I had to shoot multiple times. So this was the half cock, the pushover, mm -hmm. and then the man. That thing was a beast. Oh yeah, we got a 600 grain projectile on about 90 grains of black powder. Um, so basically, what this is is this is a breech loading conversion for like the old P53 infield musket. Got it. So they did that just to make the guns easier to load, uh, to make it a cartridge contained um, type of thing instead of having to load from the muzzle. Got it. And this is a shorty, so it's a, a carbine, which is also cool. That and nice awesome. and short. The standard infantry gun is way longer, really huge, but this one's light and handy and short. And kicks like a moose. I oh, mean, yeah. It was just, <laughs> or mule. Do moose kick? I'm sure if moose started kicking, it'd be like, bad. I like would not want to get kicked by a moose. I'm not signing up for that. <laughs> All right, uh, and well, last, on our broom handle, yeah. And this didn't work. <laughs> our broom handle didn't work. That's okay. This didn't work. Because uh, something but for a stuck in there. 120 year old gun, I think we'll throw it a mulligan. <laughs> yeah. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. All right, All let's right. keep moving. So let's that's, do it. We had four guns there two, four. So that was eight guns. All right. Next one. We got you that. cut me a big break. I did. And an AR platform. Yeah. And this is a CMMG. It is. Uh, so I figured what we would do is give you something familiar, but at the same time, something maybe you've never seen before. Yeah. A 458 SOCOM chambered AR-15. So, uh, CMMG anvil. Yep. And I immediately, back here, I couldn't get enough eye relief and I had to pull back to my old thing. And when I went to pull back, kind of was a little sticky for me. Yep. Uh, this was a great gun. It was a lot the of cool fun. The cool thing about this particular setup, I'll just mention very quickly, is that a lot of the CMMGs are purpose built for the cartridges that they're chambered in. Yeah. So th there are loads that this gun can fire that are not safe in a, in a standard converted 458 SOCOM AR. Got it. So it, if if it's anvil rated, it's it's top pressure because of the big beefy bolt. It's got like an AR-10 style bolt mechanism, so right. super beefy, really, really tough gun. Cool. I thought you'd like that. All right, so that one was a, a nice, John gets to rest after the jog back. And this was crazy, and I immediately saw the bayonet, and I'm like, there's no chance I'm not gonna shoot that with bayonet out. 
Huh. Absolutely. Very good. Yeah, you uh, got your uh, State Arsenal 26 uh, Type 56 SKS, 762 by 39. Brilliant. And it's made to be fed with stripper clips from the top of the action. And it's been many years since I've shot an SKS. However, it was a nice trip back down memory lane, and yeah, I, I fumbled my way through it. You did fine. Uh, I mean, they're they're uh, you know, it's an antiquated design. Um, even at the time the SKS came out, it was already an antiquated design, but. But really, though, I mean, they're handy, they were cheap to manufacture, uh, easy to hand out to a lot of people, easy to train people on. So it was just a, a stopgap type of gun between the AK-47 right. and like the Mosin and the Gantt series of guns, Cool. you know, between bolt actions and AKs. And then you were a prick again and gave me this thing. <laughs> but it was kind of based on the same one that I'd already done mm -hmm. with a, uh, I did the half cock to be able to clear this mechanism, a lift up and then I had to point down so gravity would work with me as I loaded, snap shut, mm -hmm. full cock, and good to go. Oh, so yeah. once I knew that one, I could work this one, but what is this crazy business? It's 1873 Springfield uh, trapdoor, known as a, a trapdoor. So I like this. Yeah. I like doing that loading action of yeah. like once I got it, and maybe it was the excitement of being like, oh, I have some idea. That's right. Well, it gets its nickname, obviously, because of the mechanism. It looks like a trapdoor hinge, you know. And really, even at the time that the trapdoor came out, it was really obsolete, mm -hmm. you know, because all kind of European countries all over the world already had repeaters and were, were developing repeaters and widespread use for the military. So, you know, here we are at, uh, you know, wounded knee, uh, getting our butts handed to us uh, with Custer, mm -hmm. with those things. And the Indians are running around with uh, Winchester repeating rifles, laying, yep. uh, laying waste to us. Yep. And our guys have those. Good rifle, but you know, going up against a, a Winchester, you know, not not quite such a good idea. <laughs> now this one was this one you knew was going to be the big monster for me. Yeah. What in the world is this? That's a uh, K31 service rifle. Uh, these were in service in Switzerland between 1931 and 1958. Okay, uh, it's a long lineage of straight pull rifles. Um, it's okay. I help. And just push the follower down a little bit. I would have figured uh, but that it's a straight out, pull like mechanism, and the cool months. thing about the the K31 is, as a rifle design is that it essentially the bolt cams a lot like the way an AR-15 bolt cams, but there's no gas system. It's manually operated, so you fire the shot and then you work the bolt. Yeah. But if you look at the bolt, I'll show you real quick. Pull it back all the way. Now look, you were pulling around on this earlier. That's the bolt release. So grab the bolt by the handle, pull it out. Oh. See the cam? Yep. So it can't, if you look at that cam, it looks awful much like an AR-15 bolt. Yeah, it does. So pretty revolutionary bolt action design because oh, yeah. the soldier could lay in the prone and work the, work the bolt without having to even move your face. You can keep yourself on the sights and just work the bolt and, and lay in the prone and keep a low profile. And you had, I had to pull this out to actually work it and you mm -hmm. had me there, but yeah. I did figure out enough of like, things aren't moving, maybe this thing will move, comes, ah, uh, and there you go. I figured out the key thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Isn't that cool? It, it's cool. It's cool. Please don't hurt the thumb. There you go. Nope. Almost had it. There you go. You Very good. It. Awesome. And then that safety. That's it. This is, this was crazy. Isn't that nice? Dude, and thanks, man. you got man. two shots on the plate without even trying. Real I was trying. Thing. So most of the stuff I was, <laughs> wasn't even like getting a lot of sight picture on. It was just, how do you figure this thing out? Throw lead. <laughs> uh, but man, the sight picture differences was pretty profound on a lot of these. I mean, the thing is, like, if you found these guns and needed to use them to protect yourself, you would have achieved personal defense. It might take you a second, but you would have achieved some form of, of being lethal. All you need is an Eric with you over your shoulder while you are freaking out in your bathrobe with an 1800s rifle. You never know. Stranger things have happened, right? <laughs> that is a, that would be the strangest thing that happened. Why are you near me while I'm in a bathrobe? I'm well, un I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm immediately uncomfortable. Let's not think about that too much. Yeah, well. let's end the video. <laughs> Goodbye.